What's up guys, now here from Now Knows Tech and today I'm going to be doing a Good Notes 5 walkthrough so I think we should just get into it. So guys, this is the interface of Good Notes 5. Now this is a paid app, I believe it's around $7.99. So this is the interface, so you have you can sort it by date, name and type and there's a different type of interface you can get if you like more like the column style but I prefer the folder style, it's more traditional. So first of all, let's talk about organization, it's great. First, you can create notebooks, folders, and you can import images, scan documents, take photo, import, and quick note, which is if you double tap the plus icon, get into a quick note, which then you can just start doing your thing and you don't have to open many files and stuff like that. So for to create a folder, that's what you do first. You can title it anything. Then go in that folder and you can create another folder. You can do the exact same things if you want to, like 2020, 2021, stuff like that. But this is where it gets good. If you click on the notebook, there's so much customization for the... Um, so, first of all, look at the customization options here. You get all these um, nice notebook covers. I like to go with the colors, a different one for a different subject, and then... You get all these designs so if you had a planner you could be more creative and then you also get many sizes so as you can see there's tabloid a3 a5 and lots of different sizes you also get portrait mode or landscape mode if you're thinking about reading them afterwards then you probably want to go for portrait mode and then zoom in and then write like that that's what my recommendation would be and if you're using split screen view and then when you get into the papers, there's also lots of um, lots of different options. So you get three colors. You get yellow, which I like the best, white, which is a bit harsh, and you get dark. So then you also can do the sizes and stuff like that. And you get, let me just change it back to things so you can see. So you get squared paper, dotted paper, blank paper, rule narrow which i if you're going to use a feature that i'm going to show you later on in the video then you'd go for the rule narrow and if you want it ruled wide you're writing bigger and then there's many different options for like um planners and stuff like that then you can also name it done and then when you get into it as you can see this is the interface so let's start off by the first feature this is this zoom in feature so you can write bigger when um and it will come up smaller this is what you really want to use the rule narrowed for because it will be more narrow to go with it which is a great thing then you get to your pen tool so you get three options fountain pen ballpoint and brush pen and what i realized is i use the ball pen the most i think it's the thickest which is pretty nice then you get into your razor settings now this is where it gets interesting so this actually has a feature you can clear the page and erase entire strokes so you know how traditional rulers are like this you erase one bit by bit and for this you can erase entire stroke and let's just say you had like some writing so test really bad handwriting you have some highlighter over it and you tap the feature erase highlighter only it raises the highlighter only as you would expect and there's also a really great feature which saves you a lot of time so let's just say you're writing and then you wanted to erase something so you Okay, so you want to erase something, you erase it, and it automatically goes back. Do you see that? It automatically goes back, which then you can just start writing again. You don't have to go up, down, up, and then it makes the whole experience a lot easier. Now, as you know, our next tool is the highlighter tool, and the highlighter is actually pretty good. So if you have some text written, and you want to highlight it it actually makes a straight line 
and the text comes on top which is great because you can't cover it that way and you get many different sizes as i forgot to mention with the pen you also get many different sizes of handwriting so and you can customize this to your liking you can tweak with it so you can go down you can go up and you also get three color presets with highlighter and pen tool so these are the main colors that you're going to be using i change it between black red and green and black blue and green because those are the colors i take my notes with that's actually a really good idea if you're thinking about coming into this market you want to change the color presets to three different colors that you want okay so back to highlighters you get three different sizes as well and then comes this really interesting tool actually so let's just say you really bad at drawing perfect squares and stuff this will literally fix your squares for you let's try it as you can see the lines just straightened and you can make perfect circles and it's just a great feature overall now if you actually click this feature you also get the three um, types of pens and you get a fill color feature so if you're looking to do some shading it'll fill that color and it'll fill the color in it so you could write over it if you wanted to that's actually a really good tool now this tool this is one of my favorite tools in good notes um when you're let's just say you're writing something and you're like oh i need that to be bigger or i need to change the color of it that's what you can do you can take a screenshot of it and then import it somewhere else you can resize it which is this is actually really fun you can resize it like that you can twist it around it. It actually doesn't look this pixelated when you click off it. And then it's bigger. Um, you can also change the color. So let's just say I wanted it red. What you can also do is convert it into text. As you can see. And I think then you can copy paste it. So the, this is actually something I didn't know. If you want to copy like a diagram twice, all you have to do is press copy. But you have to stay in this mode. Um, the Lassio tool mode, I think that's what it's called. And you have to paste it like that. You have to hold on the screen. So that's actually how you do that. I didn't know so. And then gets to this next bit. This is actually one of my really, really favorite bits. So let's just say you have a picture. Um, you can import it directly from here. But let's say you wanted to import it from Safari or something. You take a screenshot and you can drag that and bring it onto the thing. Um, that's actually a really cool feature. I might be making a video about that, but you can you can do your normal like import and export. You can crop, and you can have a freehand crop as well. So you can go like that, and that's a it's a good feature. I don't know why they give a camera mode beside it. it doesn't really make sense to me, um, but they must have some reasoning. Then there's also text mode. This is what I like to do for my titles. So let's just clear this page. This is what I like to use for my titles. So test. And then you can select it. And then you can change the font and everything. Make it bold, italics. And then what I like to do is use the tool and resize it and make it bigger so your title is nice and big. That's actually a tool that I use a lot. And then this next tool is just if you're presenting, you get these two options to present with. Um, so you can see, oh yeah, I'm doing this. And that is all pretty good. Okay, guys. So now let's just get into more of the settings. Sorry. Um, so you can do a split view by pressing this or you could drag up from your dock. Um, if you press that and you open a new window, then you can change between it like so and so um what that could be useful if you have one document which you have your notes and then you're trying to present those notes it could be useful in that way and then to add a page all you need to do is scroll right and release to add page and that is how that works but there's also a mode where you just read notes and you can't write over it or anything and then you can click back and take your notes which is good if you're preparing for like exams or something you just want to read through your notes now let's go to the settings so you can copy this page you can rotate this page landscape you can add page um outline and you can change the template which is sweet as if you once you've taken your notes and you just want to review them you can just take the lines off it'll be less distracting 
Now, something I also like is you can do your scrolling direction vertical or horizontal. So if you do it vertical, it'll go downwards. And if you do horizontal, you can just switch it like a typical um, book. I like to keep mine on horizontal because I like that typical book style. Um, so that's the setting features. Now, the, you can export in this page and you can share it and everything like that. Um, that's in most things though. You can bookmark this page and this is actually a really good feature. You can, when you're searching in exams or something, you can search for something. Let's just say test and it will point it out even if you're handwriting. It just needs to be legible. So let's just try that. So zoom in. That's legible handwriting. Search test again. And as you can see, it highlighted both of them to show me that that is what you're looking for. There's also a mode where you can see all the pages that you have opened. You can see your favorite pages, outline pages, which is good if you're trying to navigate between a really um, clamped up notebook. And I think that's it for today. Those are the features of good notes. Um, I hope this was helpful to you and comment if you like this type of videos. Um, and I'll be looking forward to make some of them. Okay, thanks for watching. Peace. Bye.